My little brother used to work at Foot Locker. Me and him almost got fired, fired. for abusing our discount because Richie would come in. What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be going over my top five Air Force Ones in my collection. Okay, okay, okay. So recently, I did an entire collection video, yep. but a lot of people were saying I didn't go in depth enough with the sneakers and whatnot. You know, okay. I just kind of touched on each one for really sure, briefly. Sure. So with summer coming up and everything, it's only right we go over some Air Force Ones. Oh, for sure. I mean, Air Force Ones in the summertime for just sure. goes hand in hand, man. All right, guys, let's get into the first one. So the first Air Force Ones I want to go over are the Nigels right Ooh, here. Ooh, the Nigels, man. This is a good follow-up from the uh, the Ones collaboration we had. For sure. I mean, those ones put them on the map, but I think this one... It was a good follow-up. It was yeah, a good follow-up. Sure, sure, so sure. these came out a couple years ago, Ooh. and what happened was he basically made a collection of Air Force Ones that you could purchase on Nike ID. Yep. But obviously, he designed them and everything, so you could kind of uh, switch up, you know, whatever you wanted. Yeah, make your little tweaks on it, but... but uh, I, in my opinion, he killed it with the designs i agree I so agree. i did not switch up anything and uh a lot of people always ask me about these when they see them in the collection for sure for if sure for sale why not i mean even though they are a nike id the way just everything kind of came about perfect it looks like a, like a general release or, sure. or like a limited shoe so to break down the design of these you got a completely sale midsole mm -hmm. and then the small little uh check mark right here is very slept on right there recently uh kiff's collab ronnie Fice collab Ooh, what do you think about those what do you think about those it does have the you know the off-white midsole which helped a lot color blocking perfect very kith like but and yeah. tommy hilfiger like kinda. yeah because it has the kith logos on it i don't like it when there's too much you know logos on the I on see. the air force one silhouette but he does have just the right touches it's right almost there, like if nigel would have put nigel on the tongue yeah. it kind of would have ruined it right yeah, yeah. but just taking a look it's been a little while since i just looked at these up close and personally Whew, the designs I, and the details i mean from the double check mark you got the sail laces. You even look at the look gold at the tips. padding. The, go the gold tips and I was the, say the gold tips, man. The gold tips. The gold tips. It's the just velvet inside, right? I mean, I, man. I, I regret selling mine. Oh, I can't. I forgot you had a pair. I had a pair. How they, much are you selling for? Two fifty. You know, someone, I think, I think someone, right someone, now, recently someone offered me five. See, I mean, there you go. Another shoe I regret selling. Uh, definitely these. They were a little bit too big, but. I would have just wore double sock. For sure, they're, for sure. These are fresh. All right, guys. So the first Air Force One we wanted to talk about are these Nigels right here. Let's move on to the second sneaker. All right. So, uh, you know, speaking of Kith and everything, we got a pair of Kith linen Air Force Ones right here. 2016. <laughs> can, I, can I bring something up, Rich? You said, you said the Kith. What kind of clearance does Mr. Ronnie Feig have to bring these out of the vault? I don't know. What is it a relationship with Fat Joe? Is it know. Nike? I don't really know. So these, these back in the day were the grail of all grails. The grail of all grails. Grail, at least for Air Force Ones. Huh, top five. Man, Fat Joe, I would say put these on the map right so here. he stepped out in these Ooh. in the uh lean back video lean was it back. lean back with remy ma one and of my favorite music videos he even uh, had the, the shoe shrine too did he when he walked in and he had all those player exclusives oh man that was like a sneaker head as much as i love tip drill as much as i love tip drill what <laughs> as much as i love <laughs> tip drill i know what video that that air force <laughs> Air Force One's by Nelly. Yes. Air Force One's by Nelly. I got to go lean back. And tip drill. And tip drill. <laughs> uh, but yeah, lean back. All right. So um, yeah, you, you got my mind going <laughs> off right now. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. Get, get it together. Let's bring it back, Okay. Man. So these at one point were worth thousands. They were worth thousands. Grail. Uh, they were a grail of Air Force Ones. The linens. Kith, Kith decided to remake them, mm -hmm. uh, obviously with really buttery leather and whatnot. The Ooh. quality is Extra insane. Padding. Extra padding. Extra padding. Even the insole is like more fuzzy and just yeah. nicer, I would say. All right, guys. Right. So we got the uh, Kith Air Force One linens right here. Let me know what you guys think. All right. So the third Air Force One I want to talk about in my collection. Oh, man. Woo, the MCA Off-White forces right here I, i'm not gonna lie these go for a lot i think you pull the trigger but I, I, so I, I i said in my collection video i paid uh 1500 yeah they go for about 2000 which is insane i mean you're already getting a little equity out of it you got you for know. sure for sure so there's obviously the black pair that go for like 10k there's the uh complex con one that goes for about like 7k which i don't the white pair. I do me not, either i don't understand i think if you're gonna pay that much you know money you're gonna get like something that stands out wouldn't you think these are worth more than those even the black ones they're worth more than the black one the black Which ones are insane. anyways uh so they also have that have you seen the yellow pair did you like that it was just mock-ups just mock-ups yo if they keep that shape whoever doing the renders the mock-ups you're doing a good job it with was shape. more of like a 
uh, Laker yellow. It wasn't like crazy bright enough. No, no, I was going to say, the reason why you fell in love with these is because of the shade of blue. I think they did the exact same thing with the shade of yellow. For sure, for so, sure. Powder oh, blue, man. powder blue. It's like... Oh. It's like one of the most Powder unique. Blue. If you see these in person, it's got to be one of the most unique blues you have ever seen. Oh, for sure. And for to sure. me, what I really like about it, it just looks like almost like a crazy custom. Like oh. you dip the whole sneaker in. Dipped it like straight in the paint bucket. Yeah. yeah and oh, the for sure. foil on the um, check mark is, is insane. Yeah. I just really like these sneakers. For I don't sure, know. For sure. This shoe actually reminds me of this. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're talking about Air Force Ones. We got to we gotta shout out this dude, PG Nose. PG knows. Okay. He's from New York. Has insane, insane collection. Whoa. I think he had all these crazy Air Force Ones where Virgil hit him up and offered to trade straight up this pair for like one of the collections. It just goes to show you still even like the designers and people working for Nike still respect the collectors, the, oh, the culture sure. basically. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, these are insane right here. The MCA Air Force Ones. All right, let's move on to the next Air Force One. <laughs> All right, so uh, next Air Force One, man. Uh, another pair that you sold. <laughs> yeah. You had a pair as well. Do you regret it, not regret it, or you're like, it's, Look, it's fine? Uh, uh, I do regret it because uh, this was actually one of my favorite Air Force Ones of all time. All if time. You look at this shoe. Let's just break it down. White patent leather. You don't really see that often. Nope. But you don't see the, the, the separated check mark. Let alone they threw in the gradient. Let alone they threw in the mismatch. Sheesh. Let the alone they threw in red, white, and blue. And then the clear rubber and everything. It's just the details on this sneaker are insane. You know, and a couple years ago, we did the video and whatnot. And we were telling everybody, you guys should cop them. The, the price most gonna slept, go up. Most slept on sneaker of the year. Although, at first, it didn't really go up. I think now they're double. They're double in price. It's like 500 450 what? in that range. Yeah. Oh, man, but this shoe right here, I mean, you worn them quite a lot, but... I have, I have. Look I, at I this. do like Still these fresh. a lot. Uh, Still so, fresh. yeah, and also we want to mention these are an original colorway, silhouette, and everything. I think the original ones came out in 01, and they represent the Taiwanese flag and everything. So, yeah, man. these these growing up were definitely a grail. Oh, for sure. And another thing I want to bring up, it comes with oval laces. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Another that little slept-on characteristic, man. a good point. It almost, characteristic, like, man. it almost sits nicer on the sneaker when they're loose. Because I noticed with the Nigels, these are more like, they fall down a the lot. The laces are just too fresh, too new. Flimsy. They're yeah, really flimsy. Man. But yeah, these definitely keep their structure. But yeah, man, the Taiwan Air Force Ones, if you can get a pair of these, try to get a pair because I think these are going to be classics down the road. Already classics, actually. Another, another shoe that I am on the search for and uh, wait for a right, right deal. Right deal. Right deal. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on to the last sneaker. All right, so the last sneaker we're going to talk about, man, out of my top five forces in the collection, we got the Ivory Air Force once right Ivory here. Ivory Snakes, man. You were saying another remake, right? Can I? Yeah. Can I also say that this is probably, out of all the shoes you in your collection of the Air Force Ones, probably the most underrated. You know, obviously, everyone's used to you rocking the white on white Air Force Ones. Those are my thing. <laughs> Those are my thing. Those are my thing. Can we tell the story? I'll tell the story. Go ahead. Go ahead. I used to work at Foot Locker, <laughs> and my little brother used to work. This is a classic. <laughs> and my little brother used to work at Foot Locker. Me and him almost got fired, fired for abusing our discount because Richie would come in. I kid you not. <laughs> twice a week, he'd come in every Stop, two times. Once a month. It was either twice a week or every time he wore the shoes three times. Bruh. He would come in and we'd ask for a pair of Air Force Ones, all whites, and he would ask for like five at a time. All right, listen, this is what it was, though. I would get them for a discount. I would flip some at school. And the ones that I was wearing, I would get for a discount. But I could wear them, sell them for what I got them for. So, for sure. You know, so, little, so you're saying you had a a, a routine, a routine to keep Trust getting me, a pair of fresh forces all the time. For sure, that was crazy. You couldn't. For, you were like known for that. Eighth grade, eighth grade. But, but, but. I know you keep mentioning like being underrated and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Price wise, I bought these for about 180, 190. Super um, underrated. Super underrated, underrated, underrated right now. I think you could get them for maybe around the same price, 200, 200. I mean, bucks. at one point these were considered a great. I think these were up there with the linens. Yeah, for sure. So 180 is not the bad. originals you're talking about. No, yeah, not bad. Not yeah, bad. so the ivory snakeskin air force ones i just i, I like the uh, black tab on the tongue and oh, everything yeah, that's fire. i like the actual nike air on the peel tab yeah. without the swoosh i gotta ask you a question because yeah. uh when i was like in fourth grade or whatever i used to want the gucci, gucci. air force ones customs that jada kiss had and whatnot come on man. i even hit up sneakerhead in the bay to see if he could do them but he was saying it's it's a different process because you need actually double check mark to do them ah, ah, you, you could figure it out come on anyways man. uh would you rock those right now i would probably say no what what 
What? I uh, wouldn't have to go and do them for the, yeah. the culture. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I mean, I mean, it's fresh. I mean, obviously, it's like a nice little margram double G's. Just on the swooshing right here. I might have to do it, too, I might man. have to do it, man. Would you even put, they like... They would be clowning. Would you even put, like, the, the, the green and the red? No, 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 <laughs> Too much? No, no, no. Too, too much, much right there. And then, <laughs> then those are goats. Then he get sued. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys. But, yeah, that's pretty much my top Air Force Ones in my collection. A timeless shoe. Timeless shoe. Summertime coming up. Perfect. Perfect, man. Perfect, man. Perfect. Uh, I know a lot of you guys were asking when I did the collection video to just go a little bit more in depth. So I, uh, that's what I wanted to do. Let me know if you guys want, you know, top five Jordan 1s, top five uh, Air Maxes. Let me know. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Make sure you guys like the video. Let me know what was your favorite Air Force 1 in the collection. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. Peace.